Yeah. We're heading this way, we're in Tarbot and we're going to the Harris Distillery because this place makes whiskey and in its downtime it makes the most delicious gin. Let you go through that door. Yeah. This is my sister Helen. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. I've already sampled your gin. Good. <laughs> Uh, my name is Gillian and I'll be your tour guide today. I am relatively new to tour guiding, so I'm going to be French um, And these are leathery tobacco cheesy flavours that naturally occur in the <laughs> Yes, yeah. around here it's for putting sheep into and why is it called a fank well it's because it they use one of these funny languages here's a funny language there you go it's all 
It's all Greek to me. Except it's not. It's Gallic. Which came to these shores. Um, oh, I can't really say. Because uh, it disappeared when the uh, Vikings turned up. Killed everybody. Took everything. And then... Uh, well, they all married Scottish women, if that's marriage is the right word. And they all ended up speaking Gaelic. So, there's a history. Something like that took place. And they still speak it uh, on special occasions. They're taught it at school. So far, I haven't heard anybody using it in social situations but I think they they use it uh, Christmas church festivals that sort of thing because everybody know everybody knows that uh, keeping these old languages alive somehow does something or other <laughs> So is that the quarry that they were going to blow up? Take everything? Yeah, they, well they, they do blast every few years and that gives them enough rock. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, sorry, not that uh, right. Uh, coffee cup. Everybody knows everybody here. And some of them locals but well, there's an awful lot of not locals <laughs> there is an expat community here but they don't know that they're expats really yeah I don't, I don't think you ever become a local unless you're born here yeah unless you speak the language and that's it they only employ their cousins yes. don't they yeah. <laughs> this, this countryside is weird isn't it well it's you know it's a good uh, place for being a stone age man in How do you do? Well, I mean, it's Harris, isn't it? There's only, <laughs> there's only, there's only 600 of them. <laughs> we know everyone. So you're the expat community here? Well, yeah, I mean, there's a very, very small local community and there's yeah. a very, very large expat community. Yeah. But I, I have the combination of... Uh, white settlers, you're, yeah, you're moving in. Exactly. Yeah. I have the combination yeah, of being the, the island's electrician yeah, and a teacher yeah. at school, so I know absolutely everybody now. Uh, yeah. And I run a coffee van, just yeah. for fun. <laughs> His wife, Julia, works for the West House Trust. Okay. So, yeah. So between the two of us... Mm. Yeah. You, you run the place. Not really. It's a tiny wee place. But so you, you, you know, know the right everybody. people. Yeah. They yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I will do. Take care. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. Guys, on close examination, I would say you're a ram, a fat ram. Very fat ram, not a pregnant sheep. This is sail boast. <laughs> <laughs> 